peeps welcome back to my channel so for today's video i'm have for you guys a haul and this haul is just a basic makeup haul i went to a sephora to kohl's to i think some kylie jenner liquid lipsticks i just have like random makeup so i just want to show you guys what i've been purchasing throughout the past couple of months um because of course this is not just all one day of makeup it's a couple of months i've been saving this makeup and this makeup bag since actually the ends of june when i went to vegas so i'm so excited to be showing you guys some products i've purchased um throughout the past couple of months and weeks and not only that but it gives me a chance to show you guys new products and stuff like that so i'm super excited for that so let's get right into the, tut the tutorial into the haul the first thing here that i say like right on top of the bag is the marc jacobs sephora beauty insider and this is just for like your birthday gift and stuff um i know it comes with an eyeliner and a lipstick i've heard really really good things about the eyeliner that's why i actually picked it up because i've heard the eyeliner it's like super amazing and it's just a regular eye curl. so let's see i love the packaging Ooh, it's really creamy but not too creamy and it's super pigmented that was just like a little swatch that I did and then the lipstick I have one like this like a little sample size in red which I hardly use it um but this one here it's more of like a mauve pink and it looks so tiny you guys but I feel like this is like a good amount of lipstick product for you to actually finish a lipstick. And just by the swatch, it's like super pigmented and creamy. It feels very creamy and pigmented. So that's a good thing, right? Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation. I have a tutorial coming up with this foundation. My neighbor's dog is barking. Sorry if you guys hear noise, but I'm just going to continue. So this foundation here, here is the packaging. I have a tutorial coming up with this foundation. For some reason, um, well normally actually, I'm shade a 4.0. But it is a little bit too light for me right now. So I know I have to pick up the 5.0. I'm not going to return the 4.0 because the 4.0 is actually my foundation shade on more of winter time and right now i am a little bit more tan so of course i have to go up a shade so definitely need to try this foundation out more the coverage on this foundation it's like super super full coverage in my opinion their laura mercier translucent powder just because it's translucent powder it's one of my basic powders that i need in my life i'm already um using my backup so of course i had to purchase another backup so this is just the packaging i'm pretty sure you guys have seen it everywhere um and it's a really really amazing powder especially to be setting the under eye to bake of course it's even better i uh, i also use this to set my whole face and that's why i feel like i went through it a little bit faster than my previous one the kat von z locket concealer i was using this concealer in sample sizes i don't even know where they're at but it was like the little mini ones i know you guys seen it in my tutorial well i had two of them i went through them that is like a holy girl concealer for me normally for a concealer i will not pay so much money just because i really love the maybelline fit me concealer and that has been a holy girl of mine for a really long time but i feel like this concealer is just so amazing that i did not even hesitate in wasting almost 30 dollars on a concealer so this shade is actually medium 25 i feel like it's not too light not too dark it's just like the perfect color for me and i really love the wand on this concealer as you guys can see it's a little bit slanted and pointy perfect because it really gets into the inner corner of your eye and you can drag down very easily and a little bit of concealer really goes a long way and you guys i swear this concealer does not move does not go anywhere does not make my under eyes feel dry or make it look kinky or patchy or anything like that it actually stays on my under eye and does not move 
it's a really good concealer i recommend it to you guys this off of the anastasia website and this is the glow kit in sweets and it's just been here collecting dust because it's you know been waiting for me so of course it has a little sleeve like all of the other ones do and this highlighting palette is just so different um if you guys seen on snapchat i did swatch it when i first got it and it's super cute i really love it this is sassy grape marshmallow butterscotch and taffy so love love them so let me swatch them for you guys that way you guys can actually see for yourself the pigmentation how pigmented they are you guys like really that's like super pigmented at least to me that's like extra and super pigmented so i love that other product i have is just this brush here this brush here i actually use it to apply any type of makeup remover cleanser or just facial cleanser in general um what i do i uh like put a pump on it and then i just cleanse my face with it and it really does make a difference and it's very inexpensive it's like ten dollars at sephora so i really love that brush it, it's my second one i have a pink one and this is my black one i have a i was gonna say a glitter i have a eyeshadow from nars and it's actually my first eyeshadow from nars just because i feel like for the price a little couple more dollars i can get a whole palette or just like the same price i can actually get a whole palette if you really think about it it's like so little you guys look at the size of this eye eyeshadow like it's so tiny so this is the eyeshadow here the eyeshadow is an outer limit it has like pinky purple reflexes and i actually seen it like on all like everybody's snapchat so i was like oh my god i really love how it looks i need that eyeshadow and that's the eyeshadow right there i don't know if you guys can see it it's like a bronzy pinky eyeshadow so it's like super glittery higher end product this is the chanel soleil tan de chanel and it is just a chanel bronzer um i got it because jacqueline hill raves about this bronzer you guys and it's super bomb my mom actually bought it for my birthday and oh, i really love how it smells like it smells like it smells like luxury that's what it smells like like rich people Oh, and I've actually been using it a little bit as you guys can tell there just to bronze up my face just a tad bit um, but oh, it hurts when I use it because I know how expensive it is but it's like super good like I really do love it on my skin um, and I love it using just like a like tapered fluffy kind of brush um, just to kind of bronze up your face not so much contour but bronze up your face it's a 100 perk and it's just the regular Kat Von D tat it really my that tat it Kat Von D a locket tattoo eyeliner and I love this eyeliner so the eyeliner when they have it for like the rewards and stuff I always pick up that eyeliner oh Sorry you guys, it's getting hot and I'm tired of having my hair like in my face. So, let's continue. You guys, bomb. This highlighting kit is a bomb glow kit. I have bronze, tourmaline, moonstone, and summer. You guys, these highlighters, again, super bomb. Like, these glow kits are life. Like, their life. I love all the glow kits. Super amazing glow kit. Professional Primer from Benefit. And this is a holy girl of mine. For some reason, I can never find myself paying $30 for a full size. But I always pick up the little ones. I don't know why. I should just buy the full size, right? This is the NARS Bronzer in Laguna. This bronzer is super gorgeous. Of course, it comes with the little NARS sleeve. And now it doesn't want to come out. Come on. I don't want to dent my my shit bitch so this is the bronzer here everybody has talked raved loved used and abused this bronzer except me i love it and right now you can't even see it like well you can see it it's a little bit right there and i love this bronzer because it's not too 
in your face i feel like it's like a perfect bronzy shade for you to apply just like mac give me sun let me compare both of them because i haven't even done that myself um like on the color wise i feel like mac give me sun it is a little bit more bronzy and the nars one is a little bit more on the darker side so yeah mac give me sun has a lot more orange undertone the nars one it's like it's you know to bronze and contour so it's perfect i love the size of the mirror on this because it's like perfect for you to get ready with this mirror so i forgot i had these so these are the Lorac um light source illuminating highlighters so i picked up two of them because my Kohl's actually had them so I was like you know what let me pick them up let me see how they are what the hype is um I do know I mean literally you guys you guys do not need these like if I would recommend between the Lorac and the glow kits I would definitely say the glow kits just because you get more product on the glow kits than just with one I believe one is about 18 20 maybe a little bit more and for a couple more bucks you can get a whole glow kit for 40 dollars which is nothing so these are the two that i got um this is more of a champagne straight like almost white this one looks like a little bit more like goldy a little bit of gold peach undertones it reminds me a little bit of champagne pop for some reason but i haven't compared them so i probably shall um this one here is in starlight which i feel like it's starlight oh it's actually pretty chalky oh okay they're actually pretty chalky look at that it's pretty pretty chalky and then this one here is in daylight Oh, I don't like that they're chalky. And this one here is daylight. So the starlight and daylight. Oh, okay. It's like right in your face type of highlighter. Highlighters are more for super intense. Um, I'm not too sure how I feel about them. But, I mean, they're highlighters. Definitely would use like for a night out. So, whatever, I have them, so I'm going to put them to use because I don't want to return and do all that stuff. So, this here is the Lorac palette number three. I have the Lorac Pro palette, the Lorac Basic palette, the number two. The only one I don't have is the Lorac Pro palette two, I believe. I don't have that one. Um, but I seen this palette. I was like, I need to have it. I've actually been gifting it to my friends as well. Just because the colors are just so good in this palette. It's like very wearable and everyday type of palette. So it looks a little something like this. It's actually nude. So let's see how long it lasts being this clean. And let's see the inside. The inside it has the little sleeve like always. And I hope the colors are so pretty you guys look at those colors i'm definitely going to be doing a makeup tutorial using this palette here i can't wait to use these eyeshadows you guys and show you guys how they wear on my eyes with an eyeshadow like with a makeup tutorial and then it comes with the eyeshadow primer which i have like four of these i think i never use them for some reason but i think i should are some products i guess of laura marseille that it's like the number one best products of her collection or whatever and it was like for sephora 500 points so i was like sure i'll go ahead and i'll get it so it's just like a sephora beauty insider box cute little travel size laura mercier translucent powder that's like super tiny and then we also have the laura mercier bronze in number three this is like an oil foundation primer and then a lip gloss so it comes with five products in here heart skin care make a splash hydration skin savers which i've been wanting to try heart skin care um and i mean what better way to try it than with sample sizes i mean why not so this is just like the regular box let me throw that away 
and then we have here reinforced of the safety type cleansing gel i really want to try that and then we have a little miniature um rainforest of the sea like facial spray or setting spray whatever you want to call it and then here is the drink of h2o hydrating boost and it's basically like a serum um oh it smells like it smells like um serum gifted to me and it's just a very beautiful engraved mirror with my name on it so I was like I need to show this it's like super super cute as you guys can see I went a little bit lighter on my hair so I needed to change my eyebrow color and this is the Anastasia brow duo powder in caramel and it's actually a very beautiful color I love both colors I use this color for all my eyebrow and this color just for the ends of my brows the dip brow is something I use all the time so I need to get it in a different shade because I can't be using the color I have so of course I got it in caramel as well undress is a gloss and it's super pigmented you guys like super buttery it's like look at the pigmentation look at that it's so bomb and then here is the liquid lipstick in crush Ooh. and crush and it's just like a nudie pink every day every day oh my god Martha. everyday type of wear which is the lipsticks that i like to go for the two new kylie jenner summer um liquid lipsticks and these are in ginger and malibu so ginger is so beautiful you guys like literally beautiful i already wear it a couple times super bomb i love it it's like super bomb like it's like a brownie ready orange i don't even know how to describe it and that is ginger right there i haven't even swatched malibu but let's swatch it malibu is more on the gray tone for me for some reason it just looks a little bit gray tone to me um but it's like a nudie gray so like can never go wrong with nude grays they're bomb so this here is undress from anastasia crushed from anastasia ginger from kylie jenner and malibu from kylie jenner the mark jacobs omega bronze and this is in the shade tantric and i love it i was always so like i don't know if i should purchase it what if i don't like it um but i do watch beauty by rosita or rosita applebaum and you guys i like messaged her i was like girl like what do you think about this bronzer she told me it was amazing and then i seen her upload like some of her favorite high-end products and this was in there and i had already purchased it i was like yes i was like thank you very much for being honest i already bought it i cannot wait to use it i don't even want to dip my my finger in there but basically this is the bronzer here it looks pretty light in the camera but it's actually pretty dark in person um so i cannot wait to use it and it's just so fancy looking the packaging to me is everything i feel like it just this looks luxurious to me so I can't wait I can't wait to use all these makeup products and I also think I'm gonna be using some of these products on like new vi new videos I kind of want to do a whole video using new products um, just so I know like hey all of these are products and I can tell you guys okay I like it I do type of like first impression in a way but not really you know what I mean so I know you guys know what I mean so yeah so basically that is it and thank you guys so much for watching this quick haul I know I was kind of like everywhere in this haul thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video bye